you might be thinking that what's this crazy guy doing in the middle of the night? Well, I'm actually making a new terrarium for my ant. It's time to give my ants a new home, so I made it with this AAC block. I need to shape it and make it brown with this tool. So these are the AAC sand. Other people usually throw it away, but I'll still keep it and use. You'll know later. Oh no, the gap is too big. Seems like I need to change my plan. All right, next morning, time to carve a hole in the middle of the AAC block with this. I don't have a chisel, so I have no choice but to just use a screwdriver. Alright, now what you are seeing here are actually AAC sand which I mix it with water so that at the foundation it will seep into all the small gaps and AAC sand is actually very good in doing this. It will dry up and it becomes a good foundation, especially for outworld. If you are not actually planning to use grout or maybe plaster, so this is a very good alternative. Now I'm gonna put these plants in. I'm not sure what's this plant, so if anybody know the name of this plant, just let me know. Leave in the comment section below. And this is some Phytonia plant and Pile plant. Now at the side, you see I purposely carve it bigger so that I can put in some soil. So I'm in the hope that the ants will nest in the soil so I can check out their tunnels. Now somebody asked me why do I keep ants and what's so fun about it? Well, I'm basically playing God in their world. So as the omnipotent personnel, I actually decide where they nest, when they eat, what they eat, and I'm able to look at every single details of their lives. Making these terrariums, formicarium for them, it's actually a very enjoyable process because at the end of the day, when you see all your ants stay inside of the nest that you give them, you have this satisfaction feeling in it, as if like God has created this world and He saw all the all His creations are enjoying the world that He created for them. And my friend David Tan, whose YouTube channel are Pet Teacher, he mentioned that these plants are very good as terrarium plant, but I'm not sure what's the name of it, so if you guys know what's the name of this plant, please leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out his channel. He has a Dinomomerus gigas colony. After a whole night work, it's finally done! Yes! Woohoo! But this terrarium will not be complete unless it teems with life. So the end colony that I'm introducing into this terrarium is my Camponodos elbow sparses, aka sugar ants or carpenter ants. So once I put them in, they excitedly start to explore the terrarium. I actually planned to let them nest in this side of this terrarium. I actually dug a small tunnel for them. And guess what? Right after that, some ants entered into that tunnel immediately. You know how excited is that? So now you know what I meant by playing God that I decide where they nest. So I left them for the rest of the night and hoping that they will complete their move in a few hours time. But when I check them again, this is what I found. The test tube is completely empty. 
but the ends are not in the place where I want them to be. I start to think crazy stuff, like, did my ants manage to climb over the Fluon barrier? Did they escape? Or could they be nesting in other places? I got panicked, but I tried to stay calm. I find, I check, I follow the workers. Where could they be? Oh, cut it out with the AC to be continued BGM. Here's their nest, I found them. Well, remember that I keep on emphasizing that and keeping is like playing God? But the truth is, no matter how hard we try to play God, we are still not God. Having these ants as pets only gives us an illusion of God view. We are God's ambassadors in this world to watch over His beautiful creations. We are not Him. We are not God, we are just his ambassadors. We are a part of nature and our role is to be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it, rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. We have the authority to control nature, but instead of controlling, we took advantage of it. Where well, the marketplace, you see people littering everywhere. In the forest, people logging huge amount of trees beyond their quotas. And then the North and South Pole, glaciers are melting and new bacteria reviving. Extinction of nature and pollution is severing like wildfire. We are destroying nature instead of taking care of it. You need to be aware that if this earth goes down, we are going down too. We need to know our role, our authority to protect, to care, and to respect nature. I highly recommend youngsters to try keep ants because you will know from ant keeping how beautiful nature is. All these discrete details that you will know everything that God created, there's a purpose for it and you will learn to appreciate God's beautiful creation. Okay guys, so what do you think about today's lesson from Anne's video? Do you agree that we are actually ambassador of God in this world? I'm sure there are people out there who disagree with my thoughts. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below so I would love to learn from you as well. And at this moment, I want to take this opportunity to let you know about my website. There are actually some articles and also some research compilation there. And don't forget to like and follow my Facebook page. And if you really love this video very much, please like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel for more of videos like this. Alright, I think that's all for today. Bye guys! Thank you.